Now, where does the pituitary and the hypothalamus, where does it come in as far as the testes go right. and as far as testosterone production? Right. We call this an axis, and everything in endocrinology is an axis. So it starts up with the hypothalamus, which is really your master, master gland, and it sends out a hormone called gonadotropin-releasing hormone, which interacts with the pituitary, which in turn makes two different hormones. One's called LH, or luteinizing hormone. The second is called FSH, or follicle-stimulating hormone. The LH is the one that is in turn floating around in your bloodstream and making your testes produce testosterone from the lighting cells in the testes. So if the testosterone level goes down, does this LH, does it try and stimulate more and more so its level goes high? Right. We have a feedback loop in endocrinology. So normally, if, say, your testosterone goes low, your body should sense that up here and say, give me more, give me more, and put out more of that luteinizing hormone trying to drive the testicle to make more. So if testosterone goes down, the LH should be elevated, but many times it is not, and there's problems up here. Okay, so you'll have pituitary problems then Correct. that aren't driving Correct. the production of the testosterone. Right. Is it easier to figure out what's what? Is the treatment the same? Well, many times the treatment is the same, but uh, say you had a younger man and you, the problem... How young? Well, 20, I don't 20, know. That, that changes all the time depending <laughs> on my age. But say someone maybe 20s or 30s, you, you, it's incumbent upon, say, me to figure out whether the problem is here or here. If they really have, say they had damage to their testicles, say they had cancer when they were younger, it had radiation, chemotherapy, had trauma to their scrotum, something that injured that, Maybe they could even have fertility problems and nothing could make that work. Uh, if they have a problem up here, we can give them hormones that simulate huh. their own luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone to, to help preserve fertility. Say they had low sperm count, low testosterone, you can make that go up by certain hormones. If the problem is just the testosterone and you're not worried about fertility, then you may just give testosterone itself.